It's been surprising every year, uh, the, the emotions and the reactions you get from this, this competition. It's about the quality of, of the art and the expression that uh, this group has. But uh, it's becoming more the kind of the story uh, behind the artist, their, you know, what brought them to art, how they view art as part of their, their life, or how art, in some cases, is a therapy for them. And then to uh, hear from them directly on what this competition means to them, both in terms of being an artist and being viewed as a artist in the community, and also uh, the recognition of their artwork by having people coming by over a two or three day period, viewing their art you know, of all places, the Grand Rapids Art Museum. You know, I, I recently heard a story about one of our artists that um, was a, a winner. <clears throat> and when asked if he understood what that meant, how did he feel? And he said he felt acknowledged. And uh, I said at that point when I heard the story, that's all any of us want in life. It doesn't matter who you are, you want to feel acknowledged. And it's stories like that that just warm my heart and make you take a step back and smile and know that you're doing the right thing and you're in the right place. It's also just watching them in the, our reception and I, one image in particular comes up of a young lady walking into the Graham uh, who come from, came from the east side of the state and she is just gazing around at the enormity of that lobby and you could just see the pride in her face thinking that my piece is in this art museum and it will be here for two days and it was just it was a, I was there watching it and it was just an emotional uh, moment you know watching her expression. It makes me feel proud how well I can illustrate what I see. Um, it's hard to verbally describe it in your mind, but people who love art, when they go to a gallery, especially a museum, and you appreciate the art, it makes a person feel good to please others. Very similar to, say, um, <laughs> ballet or opera. There's so many different types of art. It makes a person feel good to please others and especially please yourself, too. I have high, high regards for Legacy Trust for everything they do to artists that have disabilities. They encourage them to go out and enter these art shows, do their artwork, and show the people that, yeah, a lot of people are born with hardships, and you can either let the hardship cause a problem for you the rest of your life, or you can take that hardship with inspiration, like from Legacy Trust, and go on and make something out of your life. The entire experience was really good for his self-esteem. The ability to take his piece, have it framed. He went with me when we had it framed. Then to go to the competition and meet Bill and, and, and the different people. And then when, when he was selected to, to be a part of Art Prize, it was just an amazing experience for him. And uh, that really inspired him to do more. Do you like being an artist? Yeah. Why? Because I'm the real artist, the real artist. I like to be with others. It's fun. It's fun to be the art prize, that kind of stuff. I just something new. And the, and the news, like on the, on the, the, the talk show, to talk about my, 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 my art prize stuff. Art makes me happy. Do you like seeing your work at the museum, all with yes. the other art? Yes. Why do you like that? To see my own my art. <laughs> Anybody else, too. Make you feel good? Yes. Everyone that goes to a legacy show can see the look in the artist's faces. It's such a dream to please others through your art. It's a good way of expressing love.